What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to do a legend player review and we're going to be looking at the Carlos Valderrama. What is more beautiful than that blonde afro on this game of FIFA? Not much, let me tell you that. So I do have Valderrama here in a Colombian side. I thought it only suited him. Uh, he's mostly known for his play in the Colombian national team. So I figured, hey, why not put him in a full Colombian team? We got some pacey guys in Ibarbo and Castillo, Ramos and Falcao up top to finish, Sanchez in the holding, and a bunch of guys from different leagues and center backs and Ospina in goal. Uh, I really actually enjoyed playing with this team, and I love Valderrama. He gets a ton of hate uh, for being slow, and this is why I think that this card is actually not too bad on FIFA 16 is because... Though he only has 68 pace, I really don't think it matters as much because it's more about build-up and passing and control, and I think that his ball control and passing really makes him a valuable player. So let's go ahead and take a look at his face card stats. 68 pace, 72 shot, not that great, but he has 85 passing, 86 dribbling, and he's not very physical as well, although in-game he feels strong so 48 I really don't think represents how he is in game uh, he has the four star weak foot and the four star skill moves which is awesome I played six games with him I scored five goals and actually only had one assist which is kind of surprising to me he's such a good passer but I definitely think in the goals that he didn't score or assist he was involved in the build up to those goals Valderrama's in game stats 91 vision, 83 attack positioning, 77 reaction, 80 agility, 90 ball control, 79 curve, 88 dribbling, 86 long pass, 83 penalties, 88 short pass. He's got those 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 5 star skill moves, excuse me, 4 star skill moves. I wish he had 5 star skill moves. Uh, playmaker speciality and flare trait. Definitely a passer and a dribbler in this game. So we're going to get into some gameplay now, guys. With Valderrama in the center attacking midfield position, in my opinion, this position is the most dominant in the game, and I expected him to control the tempo of the game, for which most of the part he did. Uh, like I said earlier, in six games I had five goals with one assist in him. I think the reason he didn't have as many assists as I thought he would is because of the pacey wingers I paired with him. Ibarbo and Castillo kind of got out in front of him and then often swung it back to him for a shot. So let's get into the pros of this card. Before anything, it's not hard to admire that blonde afro of his. Definitely a big reason people like this guy. But nonetheless, let's get into the actual gameplay pros. So passing. Valderrama's crisp pass make him a good player in the cam roll. Whether it's a direct pass or a through ball, about 90% of the time he puts it on the money and is definitely reliable. Second is dribbling. In my opinion, having someone with a high dribble rating in this FIFA is huge. With the emphasis on build-up and working the ball, Valderrama's dribbling allows him to get into space to make that crucial pass. For all the skillers out there, his 4-star skills could also be a huge bonus if you know how to use them right. His ball control allows him to weave in and out of defenders, even though he lead, uh, lacks pace, which leads me to the cons of his card. The obvious one is Valderrama's pace. Uh, any knowledgeable FIFA player knows that he only has 68 pace. And uh, many people despise this card because they feel as though he isn't fast enough. And I can agree it wouldn't hurt for him to be a little bit faster, but ultimately I don't feel that his pace really sets him back that much. But it would be nice if he was just a tad bit faster. My only other con is his finishing. Uh, being a cam, it really isn't specifically his job to score, but with a 72 shot rating, I wouldn't completely rely on this guy to carry your team's goal workload. Um, I absolutely love playing with Legends, and Valderrama is one of those guys I enjoy seeing on my team. On the field, of course, the blonde afro, you can definitely point him out in the middle of the field. I love playing with him. He's an affordable legend. And I, I just overall, I just like him. I mean, he's just kind of a cool guy to have on your team. Um, but that is going to be it for this review, guys. 
I really hope you enjoyed it. I had an awesome time doing it. Uh, comments and feedback are always appreciated. And if you're feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe button. Uh, until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Enjoy the rest of the clips I have. Just some more passing ones, kind of just showing you, you know, how he allows his teammates to get into space and kind of even works it back to himself. Uh, definitely a valuable player uh, for any team. And, yeah, look forward to uh, more Legend reviews. If you guys are liking the reviews that I'm doing, always uh, comment down below maybe some guys you guys want to see. I'm cool. I'm open to Silvers, Legends, Informs. Just let me know. Give me someone to do. I got plenty of coin to kind of throw around and have fun with. But uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Um, and I will talk to you guys next time.